Hey guys, it's Selena. So coming on a show with you what I picked up at CVS. Um, I did do the Scott's deal, which is spend 30, get back 10. And the Huggy Wipes were, all, were also included, as well as the Palmolive and the Soft Soap and Colgate. So um, basically I picked up two of the Soft Soap. They are two for seven. I used a 75 cents off coupon off each one, which did expire yesterday. So I used that, and I also used a $2 off of any two Redbox coupon on the body wash. The Colgate is also two for seven, and these are the bigger um, tubes here. I think they're the 7.8 ounces. I had dollar off coupons on those, so I went ahead and used those. Oh, and also, also I did have a CVS coupon for the Colgate. The Scots was $7.44 this week, and we had a dollar off manufacturer coupon from upthevalues.com, so I used that. The Pomolive, they are $0.99, cents and I did pick them up yesterday, so the coupon did expire yesterday, so I used those $0.50 cents off one coupons. I used three of those. Also, I picked up two of the Huggies. They are $2.99 this week. And I used two of the $2 off printables, which are no longer available. So after um, all the coupons, I paid um, $16 in extra bucks, and I got back a $10 extra buck. So not bad um, for the Scott's deal. So the Breathe Right is $3.99 this week. Um, hopefully, I'm not mistaken, but I'm pretty sure it's $3.99. You get a $2 extra buck. And I, bas I think it's a limit of one per card. So I had a dollar off um, manufacturer coupon, and I paired it with a CVS coupon that was a Mallory coupon. So I paid two and got back two, which is completely free. Um, the Revlon Beauty Tools. They are buy two, get a $5 extra buck this week with a limit of six. So I did pick up four, and they're $2.99 each. So basically after the extra bucks, they end up being $0.50 cents a piece, which is not the best deal, but I do want to stick stock up on nail clippers just because they're good for stocking, stocking stuffers as well as gift bags. So that's what I picked up at CVS. Oh, and also I did do the Tide deal. Um, again, I believe it is a monthly deal, but for some reason um, it didn't print out my um, extra buck. Extra buck, she had to manually um, enter it. As you can see here, the Tide was tracking. I needed 13 more dollars and 68 cents, and I bought three of the Tide. They were 5.94 this week, and I did use three of the two dollar off PNG coupons. So, but I, she did force print the $5 extra buck for me. So hopefully it works for you guys as well. So I did pick up those and I did get a $5 extra buck. So for Rite Aid, I did this transaction on Saturday. Um, just because the um, Palmolive coupons were expiring um, yesterday of the 12th. So these were $0.88. Cents and um, when you buy five, you get a dollar extra buck. I used five of the $0.50 cents off coupons so they ended up becoming 38 cents each which is not bad I did finish off the bird speed still um, which was last week um, last week still was spin 15 get back five I did find more um, two more of the 2.5 ounces we have those two dollar off video value coupons um, these were 399 gold price so I basically paid um, 3.98 and I got back a five dollar um, up reward, so that was a pretty good deal. I also finished the Cover Girl. Um, I just needed one more of the eyeshadow to to get my ten dollar up reward. It is a limit of four, so you can do it four times per card. But I picked up this single eyeshadow. It was 3.99 and. Um, I did get my $10 extra buck for that, so this transaction was a money maker. Um, I spent $7 in up rewards, and I got back um, a 10 for the cover girl, a 5 for the um, Burt's Beats, and a 1 for the Palm Olive, so I got back 16 So it was a little 
moneymaker there. I am going to go back to Rite Aid. So, um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.